assalamu alaikum our today's topic is nicotine poisoning it is collected from a plant that is called nicotiana tobacco from its leaves the dried leaves are also known as tambaku in hindi or urdu the ripe seeds do not contain the alkaloid uh, nicotine or the active principle the route of administration include uh, intact or broken skin inhalation and ingestion We need to remember that the nicotine poisoning first stimulates then depresses and then paralyzes our body or the autonomic ganglia. The signs and symptoms in acute and chronic poisoning may be uh, like there would be burning sensation when we ingest it and then there might be some convulsions. There may be respiratory slowing. there may be cardiac irregularity due to slowing and then there may be coma so as we can say it first stimulates then depresses and then it paralyzes in chronic poisoning there may be um the symptoms may be due to chewing or handling it the chewing symptoms can be cough or laryngitis or pharyngitis or bronchitis and the handling symptoms may include dermatitis uh, apart from all these there may be discoloration of teeth or there may be a bad odor in breath there may be angiospasms and muscular tremors and uh, the complications include uh, blindness there may be non thrombocytopenic purpura there may be occlusive uh, thromboangitis and uh, obliterans and uh, apart from these there may be peptic ulcers and hyperacidity the treatment includes that if it is handled then it should be washed with soap if it is ingested there should be a stomach wash then the patient should be given a purgative uh, mostly sodium sulfate at the dose of 15 grams in 100 ml water the next sem- uh, treatment may be symptomatic post mortem changes will include um, its pieces the death is due to asphyxia there would be pieces there would be in stomach there would be brownish discoloration there would be gastric irritation and pulmonary edema one should remember that uh, nicotine does not undergo putrefaction putrefaction and uh, the medical legal significance is that it causes dependence it may be accidental or infanticides